Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good. All right. Well, the title of my presentation is incomplete. The future is unknown. I don't know if it's going to be good or bad. If anyone tells you they know what the future is going to be like, they are lying to you. It could be really anything. We have no way of predicting what the future is going to be like. Except, of course, we have this amazing tool, exponential curve. We can apply it to any technology. For example, if one day I decide to shave, I can calculate exactly how many blades a razor will have at any point in the future. Isn't that amazing? That's really useful. There is, however, one little problem. Especially here, as you will always hear how great future is going to be. It's a future of abundance, future of singularity. Everyone's going to benefit. Kids, women, scientists, children, everyone. Um, I'm a bit pessimistic. Uh, my job is to look at uh, exponential risks and technologies, specifically at risks of AI. So I published a bunch of papers saying how bad things could get if we don't account for some negative consequences. Uh, to give you a historical example, if cars were invented today, would we adapt this technology? Would we allow something which kills millions of people in the US alone to be fully adapted? Maybe, maybe not. It's a big question. But this is linear technology. Things which I'm looking at today, computer viruses, for example, are exponential. They double or even worse every year. The number of uh, attacks against your bank account, against your privacy, security, keeps increasing exponentially. This is fresher data, includes uh, computer worms, Trojan horses, all sorts of evil technology. I'm going to apply this type of analysis to every track we study here at SU, just to give you an idea of well, you know the positive, let's look at the negatives. Robots are cute. They could be very awesome at babysitting, taking care of elderly, but they also can kill you. There are military drones, there are terminators. So for every positive, there is a negative. Same with biotech. We can enhance our foods, put extra vitamins in a tomato, uh, make glow-in-the-dark cats, but there is possibility of developing cancer from this food. There is uh, discrimination based on your DNA. Are we considering those things equally? Medicine, personalized, amazing technology for disabled, or a tool for a government to read your minds. We've seen one of the previous talks mention that in detail. New types of drugs, wire heading, things more powerful than heroin. Nanotech, we can 3D print awesome art, or McDonald's can develop 3D printed toys out of food. What are the consequences of that? Nanotech. Same thing, could be deadly gray goo, could be very useful improvements to your immune system. Anything can be the same. Internet versus ability of government to spy on you. Pedophile networks, amazing ability to communicate this evil material at amazing speed. So again, double-edged sword. Green technologies, wind, solar, all sound great. Uh, we believe the same thing about nuclear, very green, clean technology until we saw what happened in Chernobyl in Fukushima. Space, great tool to unite different cultures, explore, creates a possibility for military to expand into outer space, space debris, pollution at a truly global scale, something we haven't seen before. So I run a research lab which tries to predict how bad things could get specifically in AI and do something about it. With linear problems, you can wait until the problem happens and then fix it. With exponential, you have to jump ahead and predict what we need to do. So I'm looking at security of cyber worlds, security of AI, and uh, ways to detect bots. Mostly on the internet, but as smart things come online, our technology will be ready waiting for it. One of the things we're looking at is uh, security of things like Second Life. We're applying biometric technologies to virtual worlds. Recognizing avatars, collecting forensic data, ready for any type of cyber crime. We talked about cyber rapes before. With respect to AIs, we need the ability to control them, to limit their ability to influence the real world, and also to communicate with them in a non-ambiguous language. We all heard of genies messing up some missions. Finally, there is also this important problem of telling humans from bots and discriminating against bots. Uh, capture tests are not very user friendly, we're trying to develop some graphics based uh, capture algorithms. I'll leave you with a very important idea. Exponential solutions to linear problems are awesome, but they always come with exponential side effects, exponential problems. Always keep that in mind.
Thank you.